Welcome back to EGS7, the COD tournament sponsored by Mad Cat. And I'm here with Riddles. How are you doing, Zach, mate? I'm not too bad. How are you? I'm not too bad, mate. <laughs> not too bad. We're going to be watching Apex <laughs> take on Incep Inception. Interesting team name. Anyway, we're going to be going straight on board with Vapes. He's going to be using the MP7. Riddles, what is he going to do from this position straight off the bat? Um, I'm looking for Vapes to possibly push down middle road. Um, but the, uh, we've, we've scrimmed Apex a lot online, and um, they do run around with um, a load of silences. It's really hard to take take control of what's happening. Um, I don't think, I'm not yeah, sure what's happening. just here. having a quick end of the game. I'm not too sure what's going on. But, um, but yeah, well, we're waiting on that. Uh, so what are your predictions for the game? I mean, uh, Apex, 3-0. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's probably going to happen. I mean, Inception, if you have a look at the lineup, it's not really... Uh, a bunch of well-known members or people who have placed very well at events. Yeah. And then you look at the Apex lineup. I mean, we've got what Torres, Monksy, Vips, and Nick. Yep. Excellent. So it's a big team, and they could probably do quite well at the event. Yeah, uh, I think they after this game, they have no, they have a game after this, and then they, I think they're going to take on SK. Mm -hmm. So that that'll yeah. be an interesting game to watch actually. Yeah, there's a lot of good games coming up tonight. Actually, yeah. I've got um, Fear and Optic are playing each other soon. <laughs> so if we, be if we beat Prof, we play the winner of those. All oh, right, that'll be a good game. So also. we've had a hard bracket. Yeah, one side. I was saying one side of the bracket does seem a bit heavier than the other That's side. That's the side we're in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate for you, but yeah. no. Well. Yeah. Got to beat the best to be the best, I suppose. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to go back on Boba Vip straight away. And I said using the suppressor, as you mentioned, so. Obviously, this becomes a bit of a problem for teams if there's a lot of suppressors running about, yeah. but straight off the bat, we see Inception coming up with two kills straight away. Monksy takes out Jake down the left-hand side with... Yeah, it's important that Monksy stays live on road here. Yeah, um, stopping yeah. from So they can get a, a fairly <coughs> decent spawnish up there. Um, Monksy's just pushing up inside the spawn. Now, what he should do is going to get the spawners in green, and he's going to set up for the spawn kill. Or he, oh, he's going to run it. Yep. Uh, does get taken out by Dale around the green area. Now, Vapes is going to move in there. Big grenade in there. Excellence does actually take him out, though, and it does seem as if Vapes has been stunned. Nothing can be done. Carbon takes him out with a headshot, and that's that uh, attack pushed right back. Yeah, uh, Monks is just watching for the spawns here. He's going to push up Platt. He's going to take control Platt's side. Obviously, for people that's not familiar with this map, uh, Platt side is the most dominant side to hold. It's, um, if your AR holds that Platt, and you, SMG's just moving through mid and that side and run it that way constantly, so important to keep control of. Yeah, it's really the brick side, isn't it? Yeah. That's just yeah. the most important thing to keep a hold of. And we see Monksy's actually moved up in quite an advanced position down this right-hand side. He's using the ASAR red dot site with focus and extreme conditioning. And obviously, it was I think it was pretty much after EGL5 that everyone started using the extreme con a lot more. I think yeah. it was... They realised the, uh, all the Americans started using it and they just get around the map so much yeah. quicker and it's just it makes it a bit more fast-paced as yeah. well. Yeah, so. well, I originally... Oh, I used to always use sleight of hand if I was... Well, before, like, the, the rules changed. Mm -hmm. When in, um, I was scrimming and... I was like told the advantages of using the extreme con even on an AR, so I just thought, yeah, I'll just keep going. I've just used it ever since. Yeah, it's a good thing to have. Obviously, getting yeah. the positions quicker, and then you can Especially possibly. Especially with rotation style of yeah. play. Now, yeah, everyone, you know, it's, it's good to have a um, extreme conditioning because then you can just run and rotate. Anyway, this flag is going to be pulled away. Jake is still alive for Inception, but Vips has managed to get himself away. Shots have been fired. He's taken the bullets, but it does look as he's going to yeah, get away with that monkey coming back with him. He's just going to yeah. watch the side. That is three down, and I think it was four. Last one off the respawn. And that is probably going to be 1 0 to Apex as Vips jumps that flag in. 1 0, two minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, it was a, a, good, a good good covering by Monksy there. They, they got two down in the spawn. Monksy knew there was one alive flanking. Probably listened to a call from his teammates. And it was a, that was a really important kill by Monksy there to get the flag back in. Yeah, they really are pushing in there now. Vips pushing down this left hand side. Maybe he's going to go around the back. Shots have been fired. They have no idea where he is, though. As you mentioned, those signs has become extremely annoying. Two players are looking at him now, and Vips does get shut down by Jick. It's important that Apex get about between two or three flags because this is the, the better side. Yeah. Um, obviously, if it's 1 0 then they're gonna, you're going to see Apex play a lot more defensive on the mm -hmm. second side, whereas if they, they've got three flags up, then they don't have... It sort of like takes a lot of pressure off them yeah. for the next side. Of course, I don't think it's as much of an advantage as, say, on lockdown. No, no, no. It's, yeah. a, it's a small one, but I, I would say, yeah. A, a lot of people do agree that this is the better side that Apex yeah. are currently on now. I, I didn't really know the difference, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> it's because you can control them, uh, spawn trap them down road and just throw stuns and get cut off. Yeah and then you can just run the flag freely down Platt's side. Mm -hmm. 
it, it does seem a lot. It's yeah. it's once you get the flag out of there, it's quite yeah. easy. It's I think it's the same with the other side really, but of course as I said, you can control the spawns a lot more. Anyway, on ball with Moxie, big shots on the Watts there, takes him out through the bush, and moving down the left hand side, and they're playing quite conservative in the minute. There is actually three of the members of in, uh, Inception down carbon picking up the kill on Vip, so and that will probably slow down this attack that Apex are currently conducting. Moxie putting shots in somebody off the spawn there, not getting the kill. And yeah, it's it's uh Apart from the flag cap, there hasn't really been much action going on. No, it's been, it's been a bit back and forth here. Yeah. I mean, Apex have had them pinned in their spawn for, for a little while now. Monksy's doing well to stay alive at, at bikes because what happens is if he stays alive and he's putting shots in, they'll be aware that he's alive and constantly watching their back. It's such a it's the same with Arcade and mm -hmm. say like if you're in the bar spawn, you know yeah. someone's up top and they're going to be dance, bouncing in between the spawns. Mm -hmm. In the back of your mind, you know he's there. Yeah. So you can't. You have like con you're concentrating on two different mm -hmm. things. So Subconsciously really well. thinking yeah. yourself, yeah. right? Okay, he's there. You have yeah. to be careful. But Vips picking up a nice two piece in the middle of the map there with that MP7 silencer. And is he going to get third? Yes, he is. Nice headshot by Vips. He's going to pull that away. He does get stunned. He might get shut down by the grenade. Good it's support from Excellence yeah. though, and he's going to run that away. Oh, yeah. It was um, in Inception. We're doing pretty well to hold them off, only for a one one nil disadvantage towards them, but. Excellent scan, a two piece there. This looks, looks like it's going to be a cap. Monksy running back for the spawn. This is what most ARs do. They come, come and cover and block off that road spawn. It's good, yeah. covering, good covering by Monksy there. Yeah, nice play by the whole team there. Excellent. It's dropping all the way back there. He was up in the spawn just two seconds ago. But I think Apex is one of them teams where I think everyone is aware of the fact they're probably not going to win the event. But, yeah, well, but at I the same time, they, yeah. they're a solid team and they will challenge for those top spots. They will, yeah, I think those people sort of say that they, they are a good team mm -hmm. but whether or not they're one of the ones in contention mm -hmm. to win in the event or placing mm -hmm. is yeah, higher than I would say yeah. top top six probably yeah I, I mean I think I don't I can't remember where they're seeded actually no. uh, looking at that team probably I think maybe seven six seven we might have it on here yeah, actually that's a lot. Um, so I, I, they'll probably end up matching their spawn uh, their, their seed sorry I would imagine. So anyway, we're going to change the teams around. We're going to go on board with Inception. See what they can do to come back from this. It's currently 2-0 going two in the second yeah. half. 2-0, yeah. yeah. I'm all Watts in the middle of the map here. Just sitting back a little bit. So I think they do actually have quite a well. <laughs> excellency coming in with a nice little kill. And here. Watts did manage to take Vips out there. But they will be pushing on the flag. Carbon's actually in a pretty decent position here. But he really does need to help his teammates out. He's not doing much just sitting Carbon's up Carbon's playing really passively. He's waiting for a counter cap. Mm -hmm. He'll probably pull this now. Um, and he'll pull it plat side. And what happens is he'll get the spawn, spawners. His teammates should spawn uh, flag or cage. Yeah. And have, uh, have his back. This actually, if this goes goes right, uh, he's got two down. It would have been a good cap, actually, if he had support from his teammates there. It does seem as if they are taking a pretty defensive approach either way. So they really do need to get some flags, but obviously playing defensively at the same time, they can't lose a flag because it's pretty much game over. After yeah, that. yeah. And the maps we're going to have coming up after this is S and the Underground. Obviously, we're playing. Uh, we've done a few, yep. few games on stream now with these maps now. So it's Underground CTF, uh, Underground S and D. Sorry, CTF Dome, S and D on Sea Town, and CTF on Caden. If it goes that far. But uh, I said I think I am expecting a three no shot um, from. Yeah, I mean Apex are playing really, really well here. They're um, managing to pin pin Inception down into their spawn. Yeah, they're looking comfortable. Yeah, Watts has got to go big here, but they know he's alive. It's either yeah, it's either the fact that he's either pushed down road or he's just hanging there. But that was a really important kill by Watts there to kill whoever it was on the flag and um, allow his teammates to spawn back in. Torres taking out Vips with a grenade there. That attack is going to be slowed down though, but Monksy taking out Jake through the middle of the map and Dela really needs to stay alive here. They are getting very much pushed in. The spawning and grenade on him now is not going to take him out. He needs to stay alive. Somebody right next to him. Important kill there. He's going to manage to stay alive as well. That's important. Yeah, that's a really dodgy head glitch there. It's, it's really hard to see you. Um, oh, oh, nice kill though. Lovely kill there by Dale. Vips is going to run in towards the flag. Uh, I think this is what we're going to see for the remaining 2 minutes and 40 seconds here. Just Apex pushing the team in. Lots of shots taken by Watts. Now he gets away with a kill on the Vips. Vips is going to pull that flag away. Dale and his other teammate are hopefully going to shut that down. Carbon does shut Vips down. I don't know if he's going to get the return just yet. As there is a lot of pressure from Apex in the middle. Torres taken out by Dale. Dale's going to have to push forward. And they're really going to need to get a flag cap if they want any chance. Yeah, they to need get to get a flag cap. Yeah. Uh, at least one fairly soon. So then it leaves them with a, a, just under two minutes, or just over a minute and a half, let's say, to get one back. 
um, and they're on. Uh, it can on happen. You can get two flags in yeah, 30 you can, seconds. Yeah, you can, you can relay a flag, but it's important that they get one now just yeah. to put the pressure on Apex, but it doesn't look like it. I mean, it looks like if, if, mid -map yeah, if anybody's going to get a flag in a minute, it's going to be Apex. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're pinning them in their spawn. Yeah. Although Carmen does get taken out by Muxy, who is pushed down the left hand side. Big shots oh. by Muxy over there. Shot. Nice little headshot, and it does look as if they're going to be able to get a flag pull. But Dale has actually managed to recover himself in a good position. Give himself away, though, he's going to get taken yeah. out. Silly play by Dale yeah. there. It'd be interesting to see actually how the scores are doing. I think Apex are actually completely outslaying. Oh, completely, yeah. Yeah. yeah, look at that. That's horrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. This pretty much sums up. Yeah. Uh, the Vips drop 23 and 40, and Muxy going over double positive. 7011 from Excellency and Torres going 15 and 9. Let's just have a look. Is that flag going to go in? Yes, it is. Nice play by Apex. That's currently four members of the Inception team down and might get a relay going on here at the minute. Jake's going to do everything he can to prevent it, but it's looking pretty, pretty grim for Inception at the moment. Who are looking like they're probably going to go at loser's bracket. Of course, though, this is only the first map, so it might not be right yeah. to write them up completely now, but it could be Apex's best map and in, in sections worse That's true. so we'll see but I don't think they're going to win anyway <laughs> <laughs> now um, but we'll watch now see if we can do anything to prevent the, to keep this score down it's currently 3 now and yeah it's been a pretty solid performance from Apex all they've done is keep them in the spawn nice and comfortable no worries of course uh, they're going to get into this a bit yeah. shaky but otherwise Apex did look pretty strong uh, this lineup is uh, it was a bit of a strange one I think when I heard it at first yeah, That's I mean, I know um, Nick has teamed with Torres in the past, and so um, uh, I didn't Josh. think that team worked as well. Mm -hmm. But this, with the addition of Vapes, I mean, everyone knows Vapes is a previously two-time EJL MVP. He's, he's, he's just really good, and he just pretty much he's he's a, he's, a, he's the main objective player, mm -hmm. but he's just such a strong slayer as well. He's just, yeah. he, he understands the game. Vapes is a really good player. Although Vips being good at this game, I don't think he's as good as this as he was at Black Ops though, because I think he was pretty Yeah, I, re I reckon Vapes well, is a lot better on Black Ops. That was his best game. Okay, we're just going to have a look at the scoreboard here at the end of the game. Vips dropped 27 and 16. Nice play from him. Monksy dropping an nearly triple positive. Torres has gone positive 7 and Excellence, you've gone positive 9. The rest of the Inception team not doing, doing so well though. We're going to go on the second map and they really do need to take this S&D. Maybe they can take the momentum through and try and get a lucky S&D.